Damn, it's Migo. You Migo? You Migo? I oughta beat your bum What you wanna do? Come on, don't be trying to call your partners, bro. It's just me and you on by myself. Shake, man. All right, shake it here. Yeah. Don't be trying to call none of your partners. I'm by myself on God. Come on. Me and you, ass ass. Shake it. Trying to wait on these partners. You a ho. You a ho. You a Ask you something, bro. Why would somebody see us sprung them? Oh my god, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Fix your lies, bro. Fix your lies, bro. Fix your fix your lies. Let me go. Fix your lies. Stand on that CMG bed and all that. Let me talk. Stand on there, folk. You heard me. Stand on there, G's and D, folk. Why you lying, me go? I hit the phone. Well, why you twisted? Why your body twisted? Why is your body twisted if I hit your phone? And then you said I ran to the police. Why would I run to the police, bro, when I sprung on you? That's crazy. I walked up out the airport, walked, and I was by myself on God. But why are you twisted like this if I hit the phone on me, go? Come on, man. Stop playing, man. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got Yo Gotti's artist, Lil Migo, that signed to CMG. He was at the airport when he ran across Young Grove, who's affiliated with Young Dolph. And, you know, he pretty much, you know, challenged them to a fade Lil Migo didn't want the smoke and you know Grove ended up smacking him which is crazy because you know Migo responded as soon as he pulled his pants up uh you know dude got the running and calling the police and all that man you gotta be honest and be a man about yourself and say you a silk you didn't want no problems man it happens you ain't built like that it is what it is you know I don't portray myself to be no tough guy no gangster I'm a man at the end of the day, so you know, a man slap me, you know, it's on and popping, but you know, I don't I don't present that type of energy. And you know, I'm not familiar with Lil Amigo. I'm not sure if he, you know, if he presents himself like that. It kind of reminds me of Young Berg in a in a way. I don't know why, but he just do. And you know, if that's not what you're about, then you know, just say it. But to go around saying that, you know, dude ran off to the police, you know, when the video ended, that was just fucking nuts. You can tell by the energy, you know, in the room that, you know, dude was shook. Like, the nigga obviously was trying to start shit with you. And, you know what I'm saying? You didn't want no problems, you know? It is what it is, you know? Really not much you can do at this point. You know, you can keep, you know, making tweets or whatever the case may be, trying to justify what happened. But, yo, niggas ain't stupid. We saw what it is. It is what it is. I don't encourage violence, but, you know, it is what it is. If it was me, you know, I'd just be like, shit, nigga caught me slipping. Nigga just uh, sunned me pretty much. Like, I'd, I'd at least be man enough to admit it. At the same time, I couldn't really see myself reacting that way. But if I hypothetically did, you know, like, shit, niggas got me. Niggas caught me slipping. It is what it is. I ain't want no problems at the time. I ain't want no smoke, you know. Nigga respect you more if you say that than if you try to flip the situation like you ain't take the L. Because, dog, we all take L's at the end of the day but anyway let me know in the comments if you feel the same way if you disagree got a new angle whatever and if you like the videos make sure you like and subscribe